Howdy Tinker Nerds. So the last couple weeks we've been talking about ultrasound. I've explained what it is in my Tinkernut video and I showed you how to make a pinging sonar device in my latest Tinkernut Labs video. Click here if you haven't seen either one of those. So now we're going to step up our game and use ultrasonic waves to control a motor. Our goal for this project will be to make a motion detecting trash can lid like the one you see here. All right, you can find the project page for this video at the link below. So let's start tinkering. Here's what you're gonna need for this project. An Arduino, an ultrasonic sensor for the Arduino, a servo motor, a nine volt battery and connector, a Dremel or other plastic cutting tool, a trash can with a swinging lid, and then a breadboard and various wires. All right, let's start by connecting up the electronics. Now, depending on what type of ultrasonic sensor you have, you may have a different amount of pins than I do. Mine has five, but we're only gonna be using these four. The VCC pin goes to the five volt port on the Arduino. The ground pin goes to one of the ground ports. The trig pin goes to port eight, and then the echo pin goes to port nine. Then for the servo, you want the brown wire to go to ground, the red to go to five volt, and then the yellow goes to port 10 on the Arduino. Now connect the Arduino to your computer and let's start writing some code. Start by defining the sensor pin locations and including the Arduino servo library. Then create a new servo instance called MyServo. Next, let's create a setup function that sets the sensor pin modes and attaches the servo pin location. After that, let's create a looping function that declares the variables we're planning to use and then starts a pinging loop that makes sure the trigger pin is set to low, waits two microseconds, sends it a pulse by setting it to high, waits 10 microseconds, and then sets it back to low. And using the echo pin, we can save the pulse duration from that ping. Then we can convert the distance to centimeters using this equation. Now that we have a distance, we can say that if the distance is less than 10 centimeters, rotate the servo head to 90 degrees. Otherwise, leave the servo head at zero. Afterwards, delay the loop for two seconds before running again. Feel free to change this to make the distance longer or shorter. Check it, upload it to the Arduino, and test it out. Whenever you move an object within 10 centimeters of the sensor, the motor should move 90 degrees. Now for the fun part. Take your trash can, mess around with it a little bit, and figure out how best to attach the electronics. For this small trash can, I decided to replace one of the hinges with the servo motor. Then using a Dremel and some hot glue, I cut out a space for the motor and mounted it in it. Then I blended it into the trash can lid with electrical tape. As for the sensor, the best position for it is on the front of the trash can so it can detect motion in time to open the lid. Since it takes a while for the sensor to trigger the motor, we should set the sensor out far enough so that the motor has time to respond before the trash hits it. So I attached mine to half of a clothespin and then used a Dremel and hot glue to attach it to the trash can lid. Then for the Arduino and the battery, I was able to fasten it to the inside of the trash can using some tape. Now with everything connected, test it out and see if you can trigger the lid by tossing a paper wad at it. Again, you can find the project page for this video at the link below. If you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider donating some bitcoins or consider contributing to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this episode of Tinkernut Labs. For more, go to tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.